This is the second time I'm attempting to record on Ustream a demo of FLV editing using uh, FLV Rich Air editor which works with Adobe um, 360 Flex and Air installed. It's all free supposedly. I'm streaming from ManyCam from my desktop. Um, I'm going to the rich FLV editor. I find that Ustream works okay, but sometimes you have to try things several times and it's a mystery perhaps why it doesn't work each time. I'm going to open the F a random FLV that I've chosen, which is, now here is my last attempt. And I'm going to go to damned FLV test stuff. You can see how frustrated I could get sometimes when these things don't work over and over and over. There's no documentation to show how to do what I'm about to do in the rich FLV editor. Uh, I'm taking something that I recorded in Ustream and up downloaded called uh, Misty. Uh, me singing Misty. I'm going to... Um, Let's see, just stop the thing. This is where you have to go. Keyframes is all very mystical and magical. Let's say I want to start at the beginning. I click on the first timestamp. I do the set endpoint, which doesn't change. I happen to know that 52,000 would be about midway. So if I want to cut this recording in half, I set the out point. See, it's 104, 782. I'm clicking set point now on 52,000. That's halfway. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to export it to FLV format again. It should do one half of the what I um, should cut it in half. I'm going to go back to damn FLV test stuff, and I'm going to call this I'm sick and tired of trying this. It's going to save it, I hope, in the place that I think it's going to save it. It should have saved just the first half. The whole darn thing was how many minutes? Like a minute and one minute, total time, one minute and 45 seconds. Now, click all over the place to get to where I want to go. So I'm going to go to my computer. It outputs it as just a, a file with no type. I don't know why it does that, perhaps, so you don't inadvertently. Now here's the damned FLB test stuff. And I'm sick and tired of trying. This is right here. Right click, rename, go to the end and type .flv. That makes it into an FLV file, which on this machine would be played with uh, real player. Now, hmm, you know, it doesn't seem to have done a darn thing. Because it's still a minute and 45 seconds. Now, I don't understand why each time I do this damn thing, it takes two attempts to do it. I really don't understand that. I'm going to go back to the FLV. I'm going back to the Rich Editor file. Open. It does work. It does work if you do it enough times. There's no logic to explain why it is such a pain in the ass. I'm going to go to keyframes. I'm going to do randomly. I'm going to take that and make this endpoint set endpoint. I'm going to do just a wee bit and set the out point. I'm going to export as FLV. Again, it eternally desires to go to the desktop. I'm going to go to this damned FLV test stuff. I'm going to call it L and Dan because, you know, I really get frustrated. Now it's exported it. It did it very quickly. I should be able to go back 
into the thing, look at it, rename it. Bitch. This really gets all tiresome, but it does work. There's Helen Dam. Right click and rename it to FLV. Dot FLV. I've done all this a couple of times, and for some reason it wouldn't download from the darned. Uh, let's see. So now I did get five seconds of it. There. So it did <coughs> cut it down. Now, um, now I will just. That's the end. Thanks for watching. Sorry for my frustration. But, oh, that's the facts. Um, now I'm going to stop broadcasting. Thanks, and, and uh, see you later.